In Cobb County, Georgia, we use GIS for everything, from doing our assessments and our water utilities to district lookups and citizen engagements. We're an enterprise GIS powered by big data, amazing applications, and an incredible group of people. But sometimes, our engagement didn't go beyond our department GIS teams. We were small, hidden in the background, and we were concerned that not everyone knew that GIS could be a solution to the problem they were trying to solve. Our vision was to take the county GIS and evolve it into something more, something that would make a new era of problem solvers say, I want it. We wanted to build on what we already have and make GIS easy enough and visible enough that anyone could use it to solve their problems, even a non-GIS professional. We wanted, to, we wanted to leverage GIS as a common platform to connect across departments to help us all do our jobs better. Our new strategy was both top-down and bottom-up, a new way to engage executives and commissioners. So how did we get our executives excited? It took something that grabbed their attention. Let's say a distillery tour. This was actually developed by one of our interns, no county money. He <laughs> built something that he thought was fun and exciting, but it turned into be one of our most valuable resources. It got people talking about GIS. Within two months, this became one of our most visited sites and the tourists loved it. What we thought was an intern project turned into a way to engage executives. But it's not just about engaging executives, it's more about showing the value. We got the excitement of Bob Ott, our District 2 commissioner, with a distillery tour. But then he started thinking about economic development and what's next. Could you show me our recreation facilities, our sports, our play, bike, and explore areas? And it started a dialogue that really did bring in a new era of executives. So I've talked enough. Our team today is made up of two GIS professionals and two individuals who are new to using GIS. First, Felicia Alingu, a public health specialist with an interesting story about how she uses GIS in senior services. Cobb Senior Services has five multi-purpose senior centers, and it's my job to help others understand our impact on Cobb's older adults. I recently took the Insights training class at the GIS department, and I immediately recognized that it would help me communicate what we do quickly and easily. For example, in 2017, we served more than 5,000 people age 55 or better, and I can drag client data into the map to see where they live and where they're concentrated. Or, if a county commissioner wants to know how many of their constituents use our centers, I drag the districts into the map. Now I can hover over District 4 and tell Commissioner Lisa Cupid that 827 South Cobb seniors participate in our activities. Because our staff is dedicated to innovative programming, our centers draw people from all over Metro Atlanta, and I was curious about where those clients came from. 94 Cherokee County residents visited our centers in 2017, and for good reason. Our East Cobb and North Cobb senior centers are just across their border. Insights lets me explore the relationship between our clients and our centers in ways I've never imagined. With link analysis, I can focus on the seniors, and those who visited multiple locations have a bigger circle. Selecting someone lets me see which centers they went to, and a thicker link means they visited more times. I can change the focus to the senior centers, and those with higher participation get bigger. Our East Cobb Center is really active, and when I click it, I see that many of those seniors live in the East Cobb area. But when I click the Senior Wellness Center, seniors are coming in from all over Cobb. We're always wondering how we can increase participation at our centers, so I created a page of tables and charts to explore our activities. Not surprisingly, games had the highest median enrollment, and selecting the category filters the information on the page. On the map, North Cobb is bigger because it's a more popular location for games. 
The table only shows activities in the games category, and bingo had the highest enrollment. <laughs> There's a huge outlier in our social category, and when I select it, I learn about West Cobb Senior Center's very successful event called Today, Tomorrow, and Forever, Patsy Cline. <laughs> By 2030, one in three Cobb residents will be age 55 or better, and the older adult population will be more diverse than ever. Collaboration with the GIS department helps us find underrepresented groups so that we can work harder to engage all of the county's older adults. Our next project is using data from the tax assessor to identify seniors and personally invite them to join us. Senior Services is just one of the new county departments excited to be using GIS. And now, I'll hand it over to GIS manager Lynn Biggs, who will tell you what she's doing over at DOT. Cobb citizens are on the move, and they demand immediate access to the most current information on their mobile device. Cobb Commute is our mobile app that we provide them with road status information from our transportation management center. Let's say you're getting ready to go for work, and you want to know if there's anything that can impact your commute. You can use Cobb Commute for that. You can click on a closure and see it on a map. You can see that the travel speeds are red and green, so that's pretty good. You can click on a camera and see what actually is going on out there. And you can click to see more information about the construction project. Things are looking pretty good, so let's go to work. Not only do we communicate with our citizens at DOT, but we also look for ways to see what else is going on. One of the neat things that we did was to become a Ways Connected Citizen Partner. This allows DOT to share our authoritative road status information with the Ways community. And in return, we receive a wealth of crowdsourced Ways reports back. We get the accidents, the jams, the alerts, and the closures. It's not rush hour right now in Cobb County, but I can see that there's a lot of alerts for traffic jams on I-285. So at DOT, we not only communicate with our citizens, but we also or monitor our roads, but we also look for ways to make our roads better. Let's go back to my office and let me show you how we analyze our big data sets to improve the safety of our roads. These are three years of accidents across the county where a car has hit a fixed object like a utility pole. Our engineers had a hunch that these types of crashes were occurring on roads that had hills or curves or both. But how do we prove that? We applied, applied a geoprocessing tool and the forest-based based algorithm, and the results were super exciting. As you can see, slopes and curves were the top two contributing factors to fixed object crashes. This validated our engineer's hunch. There are other factors with the, these types of crashes, of course, but this provides us the knowledge to look at our roads in a completely new light. Let me show you. This is Windy Hill Road, and you can see that it crosses a creek. I can turn on the curves, or the hills, and you can see the steep areas in red. I can turn on the curves, and now we can see where it's hilly and curvy. We can now proactively look for roadway improvement projects to specifically address fixed object crashes. We are very excited to, to move forward with that project. And now, I'd like to turn it over to our co my colleague, Jennifer Lana, who is Cobb's GIS manager, and will show us how our enterprise GIS is bringing it all together. Thanks. Thank 
One of our newest powerhouses for economic development in Cobb County is the Atlanta Braves and SunTrust Park. Adjacent to this stadium, development brought a whole new set of businesses to an area called the Battery Atlanta. This provided a wonderful opportunity for our GIS team to be involved in future planning. So we started to build a digital twin. By constructing landscape using existing enterprise data that we had, such as Lynn's transportation network that she just mentioned. So after that, we wanted to enhance the model even more. So we turned to some of our partners for help. Our county management wanted aerial imagery integrated. Situated in the Cumberland CID area of Cobb County, 41,500 seats are in the stadium. So within ArcGIS Pro, we use the oriented imagery tool to look at our pictometry imagery from all different angles. Here in the area, you can see a new hotel that was built and also a regional headquarters of a tech company recently relocated there. So now that we've looked at the overhead view of this digital twin, let's integrate some street level data. Street level data allows our staff to view and analyze our own assets, like light poles and guardrails. Street level imagery also allows us to simulate essentially taking a walk from our own desk. So as you see here, we're zoomed into the Delta Deck and the third base gate of SunTrust Park. Because Cyclomedia collects LiDAR data that's powered by a point cloud, we can accurately measure our assets right from our desk in ArcGIS Pro. So we have this brilliant information outside the stadium. Let's take a look inside for even some more information. Platinum Geomatics collected terrestrial LiDAR for us. As you can see, this is great information. Our public safety teams and the Braves organization need information for logistics and operations, you know, especially when the Atlanta Braves go to the World Series this fall. <laughs> this adds another piece of data to our already great model. With our own expertise and our partner assistance, we have built this model of Cobb that can be used by multiple departments. So this was just the beginning of our team to reach even a new era of users outside of the GIS professionals that we already have. So of course, we wanted to share this with everybody. So let me introduce you to Lieutenant J.D. Lorenz with the Cobb County Police Department. The arrival of the Atlanta Braves posed a new challenge to our police department with parking situated 360 degrees around the stadium, an already congested area had the potential to become gridlocked. The goal of parking all of the fans before the first pitch and the returning traffic flow to normal operations within 45 minutes after the game helped shape a comprehensive traffic management plan, a plan so detailed that the placement of every cone where I wanted the police cars to park or the officers to stand is completely laid out here. Here you can see uh, an area we reserve for our ride shares and shuttles. This scene here shows the path pedestrians take as the leave the stadium, traverse an elevated pedestrian bridge, and then walk towards parking lots east of a major interstate. At the base of the bridge, the pedestrians are forced to cross traffic though. Since I have fingertip access to our county's advanced traffic management system, I can change all of the lights to red in that intersection and then allow the pedestrians to diagonally cross through. However, this causes a bit of a traffic queue, and then that traffic queue, in turn, makes an adjacent intersection clog. I need a way to consistently identify the best signal timing based on that pedestrian volume. This dashboard is the answer. Here we're looking at a Braves day game on June 24th. The game ended at 4.29 p.m. The timeline at the top goes from 30 minutes prior to the game to 30 minutes after. Using IBM Watson, the data is classifying the pedestrian density and returning the data back to me. In essentially, the program is telling me when a heavy pedestrian movement is leaving the stadium so that I can prepare for them to come to that intersection. The map on the right shows the location 
and views of the three cameras along that pedestrian path. I watch the graphs in the middle and watch the mass of people as they traverse through those camera views. This allows me to take both efficiently move traffic and pedestrians keeping safety in mind. The digital twin that mapped the county's economic development could now be utilized to train other police officers, but more importantly, other traffic managers so that I could finally take a day off during the baseball season. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We successfully manage traffic at the interchange between two of the busiest interstate corridors in the entire Southeast, proving to the naysayers it could be done. As a police officer, I never imagined that the platform our GIS professionals utilize would also make me and my team achieve a higher level of success. So successful, in fact, that other staff in our government has taken note of it. As uh, evidence of the commitment to move Cobb County forward, with GIS, my chief of police, director of public safety, and a district commissioner are with us today. <laughs> On behalf of the Cobb County team, thank you. <laughs>